This is Shelly Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Fire Rock Conference in New York City 2014. I have with me Corsten Zonflit of Simbid Corp. It's a publicly traded company and the symbol is SBID. Welcome to SNN Live. Thank you very much, Shelly, and thank you very much for having me on. It's a pleasure to have you. Let's get into it. Tell the audience what Simbid does. Simbit is the first publicly listed crowd, equity-based crowdfunding portal in the world. We build financial technologies in order to facilitate a more efficient and effective capital allocation towards small and medium-sized entrepreneurs. Now, there's been a lot of copiers, there's a lot of attempts to do what you're doing. You're first. How effective are you when it comes to people coming to you to be listed? As always, Shelley, uh, many are called, few are chosen in this, uh, in this industry. Uh, how effective we are, uh, we started off in the Netherlands and right now we have a 10% market share in all the C deals and A deals. As compared to all our other competitions, uh, I would say they don't even come over 1%. So when it comes to what's going on in crowdfunding in Europe, it's always been my impression that crowdfunding has been way ahead of the US. Do you agree with that statement? I certainly do. I mean, most of the pioneers in crowdfunding are European-based companies. Uh, this has everything to do with a more liberal offering regime within the Eurozone itself. Uh, but we at Simbit, for one, are completely convinced of the fact that the crowdfunding war, or at least the crowdfunding war on equity-based crowdfunding, will be fought and won for in the U.S. That's why we list it here. You know, you can almost... You know, I, I'm, I'm excited to speak with you because what you do is so different from what I normally interview. Crowdfunding in general is one of the hottest topics at all financial conferences. You being a public company, why did you choose to become public yourself? That's a very good question. Uh, at Simbit, we believe uh, that our stock should be owned by everybody, just as we are doing that for all, the, all our own clients. So when somebody comes to you for information on a company that's getting crowdfunded, how much can you tell them? I mean, what do you reveal? What do they provide to you? That's a very good question as well. Uh, to give you an overview, uh, when we started out in April 2011, we got over 11,000 companies joining the Simit platform to get funded. However, merely 180 made it to be listed publicly on our platform simply because they were not able to provide the general public with all the information we need. And I'm talking about term sheets, P&Ls, forward-looking statements. We want the investors to make a very educated decision. And this goes for both retail investors as well as accredited investors. It sounds like you have a very large amount of expertise in crowdfunding. One of the questions that came up at another conference, someone said to me, Shelley, what do you know about crowdfunding? I said, well, I know as much as the next guy, but what I didn't know was how do I answer the question about exit strategy when it comes to crowdfunding? Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, if you are investing, even in a crowdfunding platform, you're doing it for a return. Obviously, in crowdfunding, when smaller amounts of money are involved, sometimes people refer to it as return on involvement and the return on investment. For the return on investment, we allow peer-to-peer -peer secondary markets on the Simbit platform itself. So investors can actually cash out at any time. However, I must say, only a mere 3% of the retail investors and accredited investors wish to cash out because they want to stay involved with the company. That's interesting. So what is the criteria that you use to give you sway over choosing one company or another? Uh, first of all, we are not choosing the companies. It's an open platform. You simply, as a company, need to provide us with the right financial details. These details need to be vetted by your accountant or your financial advisor. So these are professional deals, but they are made for the masses. So it's very much explainable uh, towards basically your mom or dad what, what is going on in these companies. And we provide also financial technology which helps entrepreneurs, for example, to build valuation reports. And after the funding commenced, basically you are in the company, you want to know what is going on from a financial perspective. Here also Simbit has an answer. We provide monitoring systems which allow you to track and trace your investments through time. 
both from a financial perspective as well as from a market perspective and an entrepreneurial perspective. How does Simbid make money? Pivotal question, of course. So, first of all, we offer the monitoring service. That's a monthly recurring fee that we're charging investors and companies to basically disclose their financials. Secondly, we have the primary markets, the basic raising process. On average, Simit is able to make a gross margin of 6% on every dollar or euro invested on the platforms. And Last but not least, in the secondary market, we are not making any money yet because there is only 3% of the investors willing to, willing to sell. So that's an ancillary service we offer. But we believe that there's also great potential and great earning potential. Let me ask you, is there a limitation as to how much money a company can raise on your platform during crowdfunding? Yes, uh, there is a limit and the limit is uh, 2.5 million euros, so roughly $3 million annually. And uh, another question that I had was, what's your background? I studied sociology and business administration at the Rotterdam School of Management. So, Corsten, for more information, where would you like to send everybody? Yeah, if you like more information regarding this exciting company and about Simbit, please visit our website at www.symbidcrop.com. That's simbitcorp.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Corsten Zahnvled of Simbit Corp, symbol S B. I D. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. We're at the Fire Rock Conference in New York City, 2014. Corsten, thanks for coming on to SNN Live. Thank you very much, Shelley.